techniques and uh, today is actually going to be how I uh, run rigging through the mast and simply use this through the boom but uh, this will be used to replace one line from another so I'll go get the lines and we'll show you how I do that so first off I figured I would show you guys uh, kind of the tools and what we're gonna be using as we do this project uh, I've got two lines here this black line is our existing main halyard and this white line is what we're going to be replacing it with. Uh, this is a T900 uh, Dyneema core line, so it'll have uh, a little less stretch, a little bit stronger. And I'm also moving this from a 14 millimeter line down to an 11 millimeter line. So hopefully this will run through both the stoppers and the sheaves a little bit easier, which will reduce some of the friction and help, it eat, uh, help us get our mainsail down a little bit easier. So these are the lines that we'll be uh, putting together and running through. Uh, in order to do this, I've got um, just some regular old whipping twine. We'll be using uh, some electrical tape to just kind of connect the lines together real nice and tight. And then just a, a good old little needle, some of the whipping twine already attached. So now we can go ahead and get started. And the first step is going to be to thread the whipping twine through one of your lines. Being careful to make sure you leave a bit of a tail at the end so that when you wrap the lines with the electrical tape, it'll stay nice and secure. And then I go pretty much straight down and into the next line. Pull that through and kind of position the two lines so they're nice and tight. And then I come back up and go through the first line again and again you want to try to keep a little bit of tension on the two lines to keep them relatively aligned as much as you can and the next thing for me is I want to support kind of all sides of the line so I kind of run it through first line again that way we've got one line running down this axis we'll be able to turn the line the quarter degree and have it run down the next side as well so kind of do the exact same thing keep the lines all lined up nice and tight Do one more line to finish through up here. For me, just for a little extra assurance, I run back down to the second line again and do just another wrap around the end. And that way, both sides have a tail that the electrical tape can grab onto. So, this is the first step. Um, about every quarter of the line, we've got support going from one side to the other as you can see and that gives it a pretty good tension and we're not relying solely on the electrical tape to provide the uh, connection needed the looping twine provides most of the support the next step is to take our electrical tape and we'll go ahead and do about one and a half wraps around the tape or the line and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I make sure that the tail is securely tucked under and start taping around the line I'm trying to keep the rotations nice and tight because this does still have to fit through all the sheaves and the opening in the mast so we don't want it to be too big and bulky. We 
Again, tuck this tail down so there's electrical tape. You get a nice good grip on that. And of course I'm running out of tape, but I'll go get another roll and we'll reinforce here in the middle where the two lines are coming together. And that way, since this is kind of the weak spot, we'll reinforce that just a little bit, making sure that it doesn't get too thick and can still get through the mast. So now we've got everything set up. Got the line all uh, temporarily spliced together. The electrical tape on the outside to give it a nice uh, smooth finish so it can run through everything all right. Next, what we've got to do is we'll pull on free end of the line, bring it out of the mast, which will pull the old halyard all the way out and should hopefully run the new line all the way through no problem. So we've already got the new halyard up there attached to the top of the mast. So once we run this through, that will be everything. All right, here we go. Top of the mast is looking like it's going through the ship just fine, so try to keep any twist out of the new line. We got the splice, ran through nice and easy, no problems.